Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing my May new book releases video. So these are all the books that I've noticed that are coming out in May that seem kind of exciting to me and so I wanted to share them with you guys because I'm trying to get back into like reading a lot more. Um, I've been pretty consistent throughout the year of reading like five-ish books a month and I'm definitely going to be reading more than that this month because of the May the Force Read With You readathon. Uh, I think I have a goal of like eight or nine books on there, so I'm going to be hitting the books hard, trying to get through them, but that just got me more excited to look up more books that are coming out, and let me tell you, there are some good sounding thrillers coming out. So I'm going to dive into it and share about some of these. Also, I'm just getting over a head cold, so sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. It's actually doing pretty good today, but... We'll see how well it goes during the video. Okay, so the first one that I noticed is called The Last Murder at the End of the World. And this one just sounds so cool. So essentially, it's a small community living on an island and they are the last like people on Earth. I'm assuming this is on Earth uh, because this like deadly fog appeared that killed everybody that was in the fog. So you don't wanna be in the fog. That's a no-go. Um, but all these people are on this island, and this island is surrounded by fog, but the island itself is safe. And so I think it's like a community of like a hundred or so people, and they have three scientists on this community. They're all working together to kind of like cohabitate and just live and get by. But then one of the scientists are brutally murdered. And so now something starts happening. I think it's like a security thing comes down, or it says a security thing comes down, which makes me think that like this little island is not the only little island, but that's just me thinking. Um, but anyways, and the fog starts getting closer and closer to the island and encroaching. So apparently they need to like figure out who killed the scientist and kind of come to like a resolution on like what they're gonna do about that in order to stop the fog from coming in or something like that. I think that's what it is. I hope I'm not butchering this, but that premise alone sounds really cool. Like it sounds like one of those very mind bending books. And I feel like there is gonna be a big twist to this. I don't know what it is, but I just have a feeling there's going to be one. So yeah, this is definitely something I would love to check out. Uh, I also love that it's like a survival type one too, because there's only so many people left and you have to like do everything you can to survive. So yeah, I'm definitely down to read this and see where it goes. Speaking of survival, Ruth Ware is coming out with a new book called One Perfect Couple. And so this is about a couple who is like kind of having a rough go. Um, the main character, she I think is just finishing up like a postdoctoral thesis or something like that. But there's no like opportunity for work after that. And they're dating um, an actor or like a wannabe actor. And that relationship's not going so well. And so this wannabe actor, he gets a job on a reality show called The Perfect Couple. And so the other main character joins with him to go on this reality show in hopes of like strengthening their relationship. And so it's a like survival style show where a bunch of couples are brought out to an island and competing against each other for a prize. I think there's like four or five different couples. And so then they go out there but then like the harsh weather starts hitting and things don't go as they're supposed to on a reality show. And then we kind of like have the couples working together to survive the elements and not just participate in the show anymore. Uh, so that sounds interesting to me. It's another kind of like survival style thriller because I feel like there's gonna be other things happening at play, but definitely something that would, would intrigue me. I've read one book by Ruth Ware before. I think it was The Turn of the Key. Um, and that one was okay. I find that her writing is very atmospheric. And so that makes me excited to read this one because like having it set on like a deserted island, I think that'd be really cool. And I think she would, she would build up that um, atmosphere really well. So I'd definitely be down to try this one. Next up, we have one called Honey Witch. And so this one sounds pretty good. I'm gonna give you the synopsis for it because I don't want to butcher it. I feel like I'm okay at doing thrillers, but this one's more like a fantasy, and those ones, you should just get it from what it says. <laughs> so it says, 
21-year-old Marigold Claude has always preferred the company of the spirits of the meadow to any of the suitors who've tried to woo her. So when her grandmother whisks her away to the family cottage on the tiny isle of Innisfree with an offer to train her as the next honey witch, she accepts immediately. But her newfound magic and independence come with a no one can fall in love with the honey witch. When Lottie Burke, a notoriously grumpy skeptic who doesn't believe in magic, shows up on her doorstep, Marigold can't resist the challenge to prove to her that magic is real. But soon Marigold begins to care for Lottie in ways she never expected. And when darker magic awakens and threatens to destroy her home, she must fight for much more than her new home at the risk of losing her magic and her heart. So this one kind of sounds like a sounds like a cozy fantasy, honestly. Like, I feel like there are definitely stakes at play here, but it seems like it's more, like, cozy fall-in-love style fantasy, and I'm totally down for that. That sounds adorable. Um, I also want to know, like, what a honey witch does. I'm just curious, like, what kind of magic do they have as a honey witch? Do they have, like, power over bees? Or, like, sweet sugary things? I don't know. I'm just, I'm very curious. So, yeah, this is one that would be interesting to me. So next up we have Evocation by S.T. Gibson, and this one looks really good. I've been told by other people that have read the arc already that it is great. Um, and I know that Angry Robots is the one publishing it, so definitely pretty cool. But I'll give you the synopsis here. So listen to this. The devil knows your name, David Aristarkov. <laughs> what, what a tongue twister. As a teen, David Aristakov was a psychic prodigy operating under the shadow of his oppressive occultist father. Now, years after his father's death and rapidly approaching his 30th birthday, he is content with the high-powered life he's curated as a Boston attorney, moonlighting as a powerful medium for his secret society. But with power comes a price, and the devil has come to collect on an ancestral deal. David's days are numbered, and death looms at his door. Reluctantly, he reaches out to the only person he's ever trusted, his ex-boyfriend and secret society rival Riss, for help. However, the only way to get to Riss is through his wife, Moira. Thrust into each other's care, emotions once buried deep resurface, and the trio race to figure out their feelings for one another before the devil steals David away for good. This sounds so good, and it's the first book in a new series, so yeah. I am also super jealous because like, I've seen people get the uh, like Painted Edges arcs, and they look so good. Like, it would look amazing on the shelf. So yeah, this is definitely one I'm going to be keeping an eye out for. Next up we have Perfect Little Monsters. And so this is kind of like a teen murder mystery. So this is about the popular girl, Ella Moore, and she was murdered at her own party. And so now everybody's trying to figure out like who murdered her and everybody's kind of suspecting the new girl. I think her name is Dawn. Um, because she was the last one to hand Ella a drink before Ella died. Um, and Dawn is, like, not wanting to go down as this person. Like, she is going to fight tooth and nail to prove her innocence. So she kind of takes it upon herself to become a te detective in, like, this whole case. And figure out who truly killed Ella. And so, yeah. I don't know. This just sounds like a fun premise. It sounds like an intense murder mystery. Um, and one that I would definitely, like, fly through if I was reading this. So yeah, something I would definitely read. And then the last one on this list, I just wanted to mention, I haven't actually read the first one yet, but they now have The Gunkel Abroad coming out. I still have to get to The Gunkel. I do have it on my shelf, and I want to get to it really badly, but I just haven't had the time yet. But yeah, now there's another one, so maybe that'll be like that little spark that makes me read the first one. Anyways, those are all the books that I'm excited for that are coming out in May. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other ones that you wanted to mention that I have not mentioned here, because um, I'm always down to learn about new books. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Until next time, keep on reading.